Okay. What are we doing? I'm going to check the board. As soon as there's one there. I'm probably not going to do them, but... <coughs> there's a mercenary. Why is there a mercenary? What did I do? don't think I did anything. Let's see if we've got poor peripheral vision. Yes, they have. As well, fast travel. Right, there is an Oricalcum quest nearby, this blue one. You get Oricalcum for that, so let me just quickly nip and. Where is it? Quickly nip and see what they want. the one who left the message on the board. What's going on? Sparta has little interest in decorative art. They like things utilitarian. In Athens, I was a celebrated artist. Really? Odd that I've never heard of you. Well, at least I wasn't starving. There is a politician who is a barrier to my return to Athens. Well, his wife is the barrier. You could send him some of your art to remind him of you. I could. Or I could send someone to take care of his wife. Either should make him think of me, don't you think? And you want me to take care of this woman? Yes, she must go to Hades. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Sure. All right, I'll do it. You're truly brave, mercenary. I'll be back when everything's taken care of. I'll just go and kill an innocent woman because an artist asked me to. Sure. Go and do this quick because it gives me Arikalkum. Sorry, love. Go and murder a poor innocent lady. There's a blacksmith look. Just nip there. What would you like? Give me all your I think it's that that I need. Upgrade. I'm trying to upgrade my armor for when we go back into the underworld. And where is it? Not that. Not that. Where is it?
This one. Still need more. Please ask for anything you need. Thank you, friend. Right, where's this woman that I've got to murder? Sorry, love. Oh, she's here, look. Job done. Wow. Bit harsh, isn't it? Just for a failing artist. Hey ho. Anything for drag me. Hello, doggy. Hello, doggy. Someone's paying me a lot of drachmi. Oh, I've missed that then, did I? Sorry. Ah, wrong controls. He's going to kill me. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do this. No, he's still going to kill me. I'm impressed you got this far. Is he a higher level than me or something? There we go. Oh, he's a cultist. Oh, he's got a bear. Oh my god. I died. Right. So. Where is that guy? Because I could do with it, actually. Killing him. Okay, he's there. Uh, let me highlight him. Oh, he's quite a way away. Is that the same guy? Do you know? I don't know that that's the same guy. Right, let's just carry on to hand in with this artist woman and then we can get back to the main story I'll get me Eric Holcomb you have you killed her she's no longer your concern so you are as brave as you look brave Please take this as thanks for Happy killing a help. poor innocent woman on the street I wouldn't call it brave uh, can I kill you now? Now you've paid me. Can I kill you? Well, let me kill her. Ah, there's... There's a mercenary there. I wonder if that's the one. Oh, He saw me. Don't see me now. No, this is a woman, isn't it? A woman with a wolf. Sorry, Wolfie. Killed your mistress. Right, that other guy. Looks like he is heading this way. Right, where's my main mission? It's over there. Ooh, near that other. Blacksmith. He was getting nearer to me that guy. Oh, he's here, look. Whoops. Oh, he, no, he's gone away again. Alright, come over here, 
friend. Oh yeah, this is the guy, because he's his bow. Ah, Life is simple. You die, I get Sugar, sugar, sugar. I forgot that I can't hide indefinitely on this build. Ah! Oh, okay. Bear, sort of bear. You are right doing my head in. Why is this guy attacking me now? Oh, this smells awful. Who would drink an elixir made from this? Oh, I got a bear scrotum for a quest. <laughs> nice. Right, let's get back to the quest, main quest. Okay. Not another step closer, Shellsword. This area oh, will up. be well defended. Right, let's just nip to the... Excuse me, nip to the blacksmith. Is there something you need? I need leathers, soft leathers. Oh no, that's upgrade, I need to buy. Leather, 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 leather. leather. Right, can I now upgrade my chest piece? No. Still need more. Good to see you. Good grief. Right. Uh oh, there it is. Get the news. <gasps> Sorry, friend. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there is an ostracism vote, but he didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange them with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles does, and he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room, and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Yeah, right. No one's gonna see me go in or out. I can't see that happening. Especially because Goods I don't from know. all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think this city was besieged by an army of Spartans. I can't keep myself hidden for major amounts of time. I've not got a lot of. Adrenaline. Right, Athens Mint. Okay. They won't ask him. Let's have a look. I mean, I suppose nobody will see me if I kill everybody. Doesn't that kind of defeat the object? Exactly where. You keep telling me about stuff over there. Is that it? Like exactly there?
Right. No, oh, that's not it, is it? That's just telling me in general that it's in this area. Reach. Well, I'm at the building. Why is it not? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get inside. Right. It's just up there. So, if I can, sneak without these guys with rubbish peripheral vision seeing me. over there. Let me just hide in this bush a minute. Suss it out. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, shut up. There's a guy there. That's like inside the house, isn't it? I'm gonna have to... Can I... Sneak... In here? Might as well. That should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. Uh, and then I can just sneak out again. And legit, nobody saw me do that. Nobody saw me. I didn't kill anybody, so... There's no evidence to say I was there. And nobody saw me nick anything. So I think I did that well. Job's a good one. I did it, I did it good, I did it. It's done. Hmm, you work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. The votes have been tallied. Overwhelmingly. The people have decided that Anaxagoras should be ostracized from Athens! Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Alexios. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? <coughs> I can't be paid in knowledge. Ah, then you are driven by the desire for wealth. Drachmi is the one thing people need. Many believe they need more than they actually do. And others have to risk everything just to survive. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. 
How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? How would you know that? Exactly. I think you have the wrong person. You are claiming that you're the wrong person? Life's one true happiness is knowing yourself. Even if I did know who rigged the ostracism vote, I wouldn't tell you. And yet, I never said anyone rigged anything. No, Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' face. Your hair looks like so a wig, mate. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. <laughs> That's everything Pericles wanted. Time to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. Right, where are we going now? Time for a party, I think. Sorry, love. I should try to stay out of sight. Oh, it's fine. Oh, there's a quest down here. I'll just grab this. Need something, merchant? You? Oh, my husband told me about how you spared his life in the fishing district. Your husband should be more careful. He and his friends could have gotten into a lot of trouble threatening the politician Metiochos. Of course, you're right. But he took your advice and a bunch of us Athenians have gotten together to help the fishing district. And now we need your help again, too. I'm listening. I'm too busy tending my stall, but I need to deliver these new sandals made for a local beggar. We have a clothing drive here now. See? I told you we're turning things around, all thanks to you. And you want me to deliver it to him? You got it. The job will be finished once it arrives. Sure. You can count on me. This will be worth your while, Mistyos. I should get going. <gasps> okay. Right. Sorry. We'll be watching you, Miss Dios. Shut up. <laughs> Alexios, it's you. Phoebe. You said you weren't coming back to Kefalonia, so I decided to leave too. I said I wouldn't be coming back. But I don't remember saying you should leave. Well, here I am. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things. Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I feel uncomfortable in this. Now you look like everyone else. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. 
test me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Oh, thank Don't you, that fits a bit disappointing myself. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Cassandra's outfit was a lot nicer. Right. Hello. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus. Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. It looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Weird oh, cups they've got, he never aren't attends they? his own parties. They're like Which stem reminds bowls. me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, How do you know I'm a warrior? This is not a time for jealousy. But for love. He's wasted already. <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Parties should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so... clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. You're leaving me alone with these people? Ha! <laughs> You'll do fine without me, I promise. Just relax, talk to the others, and focus on finding your mother. Right. 
Here we go. We were going to talk to you. Gather information about your mother. Oh, I don't really want to talk to these. Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating air bladder. I've had my fill. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point again. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the right. gods who are the source of justice? We don't have to what? talk to him. No! Have you... What and your face two? in Pericles' abode! Ha! <laughs> that in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? I am called many things. It isn't one of them. What do you call yourself then? Creature of many names? Alexios. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. <laughs> for a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle Not. this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every pedis. Uh. Yeah. There's try a that. war at the city walls. Suffering, starvation. And you're in here arguing because someone at the party isn't giving you the attention you need? That's no way to calm down someone who is obviously upset. Uh, no, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? Why did I know I that? I am looking for information that will help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to every Pidis. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. Exothalmic. But he talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. You want to get every Pidis drunk. Are you hoping he's going to make an even bigger scene than you did? Ha! We both know that's not possible. But you're a feisty one, to say the least. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You'll need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly, delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? <clears throat> I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. <laughs> see what the dry wine does. It's come back for more. Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I heard he said, I don't call me it. It's rude. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! 
Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship, where he took pity on me. Now, I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning, I... Perhaps one drink. To the Onisos! This... this is delicious! This is... Nectar of the gods. Another round. How about some more? Nom nom. Don't cut, boys. Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' finest. You know what they say good wine makes good friends. Ready for another? <laughs> this is the best symposium I've been to in a while. You know what? I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pivis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. Here I come. How's every pedis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Okay. Sorry, love. Right. Next, over there. Someone's being hurt. Open this door, or I'll kick it in. Oh, oh, don't mind her. She likes to watch. Mm. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. <laughs> I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. I come bearing gifts. 
We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Now it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Prostitutes? This is serious. They don't like being called that. And for good reason, they offer so much more than their bodies. Such as... These women are companions, counselors, confidants. Powerful men come to the Etera asking for advice and value their words more than those of their closest friends and advisors. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the <laughs> celebration continues. Call him for me. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. <laughs> 